This is an example of a perfectly inelastic collision because in the beginning of the wrestling match, both wrestlers come together and their velocities end up being equal. Alright, so. <laughs> right, so that was a uh, Newton's third law, and it states that every action has an equal or opposite reaction, and um, the guy in red was the one, the one applying the force, and the, uh, the small one right here, he was the reaction, and that's why he went back. In wrestling, this is an example of an inertia. Because the lighter wrestler in red needs to maintain his inertia and body position because the heavy wrestler in the gray sweatshirt has less, more resistance to change. So the lighter wrestler has to maintain his inertia so he won't get blown back and taken down. Alright, so the posture is demonstrating good center of gravity because he's putting all his weight on his back foot so that he can have more control on his front and it'll be a good way to stop takedown so he tries to shoot it. Costa can stop him easily. Two moves in wrestling that have to do with momentum are the arm drag. And the next one is called the lateral drop. In these moves, the first one, the arm drag, the wrestler that shoots the arm drag uses the momentum from the wrestler being shot at to take his leg and take him down. In the lateral drop, the wrestler that sh the two wrestlers are together and they're both pushing up against each other. And then the, when the wrestler feels the, the force on him, he steps back and flips the wrestler using his momentum to take him down. So this one's leverage, and uh, he's using his arm as kind of like a lever, so, so he can run it over. Get with these And yeah, and then he just hits him, and then the arm kind of works as like a lever to bring him over. 